Today I have the pleasure of speaking with Jim Payne from Dinosaur. How are you today? I'm great. Yourself? Great. You put out some news today. Would you you won an award? If someone joined your team, your stock's up 17 points. Oh yeah, but we were up 50 percent yesterday. Okay, so let's talk about this new appointment. Can you tell us a little bit more about it? Absolutely. So the gentleman's name is Michael Myers. Now Michael Myers was the the head engineer from TUV South. Uh, that's in Germany. So we went through all this testing in Germany to get our, our KBA certification. Michael was originally very skeptical. He actually had to test it four times to convince himself and to convince KBA. Through that whole process, he fell in love with the thing. He thought that this is the biggest opportunity he's ever seen for, for Europe and for himself. So he resigned from TUV and joined our team. I noticed that. I thought that was a very intriguing aspect of the news release. I read that he was skeptical, and I actually just had a scientist in here, and we were going through your news releases, and he was skeptical. So obviously, you know, you won him over through performance. That's right. And speaking of that, just prior to that, you know, uh, you put a news release out about a purchase order uh, in Mexico. Can you tell us a little bit more about this? Yeah, this is something we're very excited about. This is something we've worked about, worked with for a while. Uh, with our, our newer dealer, he has, uh, he's, he's brought on board, it's the largest union within Mexico. They represent all the trucking industries. They actually represent a million trucks. Uh, they actually issued a uh, MOU saying that they're going to purchase a million units. But first they've got 100 units, and then we've committed that they're going to take up to 10,000 units manufactured here. During that process, we're going to work with them to set up an assembly plant in Mexico to fulfill the rest. Did I hear that correct? You've got a commitment for a hundred, but if that goes well, you've got a million? That's correct. Okay. Well, that's exciting. No wonder the stock is moving and performing so nicely. And then prior to that, I also noticed, I mean, you've been putting out news regularly, which of course we always tell investor intel audience members, look at management, look at whether or not companies are achieving milestones in a regular and effective manner. And I see here that on top of everything, you won, uh, you were recognized by the German Innovation Awards. Is that the same one as you made reference to today? No, actually what we made reference to today was a second one. This is the two major awards in, in Germany. And yes, we won gold in both uh, for the most innovative product. Uh, one was for the most innovative product, and then, was, then one was for the most innovative product to meet the, the new green movement. And for those of you that may be new to the dinosaur story, would you mind telling us, there's a lot of companies out there, small cap investors, tell us maybe the highlights on why you would invest in dinosaur over many of the competitors that are out there? Well, first of all, the competitors, I don't think there's any real competitors close to where we are with our technology. Now you look at the technology, I mean, this is something that's been, companies have been trying to do this for over 50 years. Now we've spent $50 million in 15 years to perfect this. The uh, reality is, I mean, our unit is, is now so computerized and so sophisticated that it learns from the vehicle and so it continually alters the flow of gases. So what we actually do, we produce pure hydrogen and pure oxygen on demand through a very unique uh, patented electrolysis system. But more importantly, our unit is so fully computerized and it's like a smartphone. It's learning all the time. It's learning driving habits. It's learning the, the terrain. It's learning the altitude. The, climate and everything so it's altering the flow of gases to optimize the burn. We're a catalyst, we're not a fuel, but what we really do is we, we're a catalyst, you know, by doing that we optimize the burn, by doing that it gives an average 10 to 15 percent improved fuel economy, but more importantly it's reducing the emissions north of 50 percent clear across the board. If you look at Europe, this is what really ex excites the Europeans now, is the NOx, which is the most deadly gas produced from diesel engines, we're, we're, re we're reducing that by 88%, and we're doing it right at the source. Like we're not a filtration system, this is cleaning everything up right at the burn. Well, allow me to clarify, Jim. What I meant by competitors is I'm a millennial and I made 1,100% of my Canadian cannabis stocks last year, where I'm also a millennial and I made 75% since, since January, one of my eSports deals. Why would I look at this, at Dynasert? Well, I mean, you look at the world right now, everywhere you look, they're talking green. They're talking, you know, you've got to reduce the emissions, we've got to do this. Uh, I don't think you can find a better technology in the world that can do that. Um, we're, not, we're not a flash in the pan. Like I said, it's taken us 15 years to get here, but, you know, you, take, you look at the technology we've got today, I mean, 
diesel engines are not going anywhere fast. And especially when you look at, you know, the big trucks, you look at the big stationary generators, you look at shipping, you look at rail, they're all so dependent on diesel. Well, we make diesel look good because we are now helping them reduce their emissions so significantly. And of course, for those of you out there who are just following electric vehicles and lithium ion batteries, talk to us a little bit more about how big the diesel engine market is. Well, the diesel engine, there's over a billion diesel engines in the world. They're building them every day. You look at shipping, you look at rail, you look at large transportation trucks and stuff like that. Electric engines will never cut it for that. I mean, you look at a transport truck. Uh, they need 16,000 pounds of batteries to run the truck. Uh, you know, you take 16,000 pounds away from the payload, there's no money in it. Uh, so you look at the diesel engines, you know, I mean, that is something that's going to be around for a long time. Uh, and if you can improve their fuel economy 10 to 15 percent, I mean, as high as 30 percent, but even 10 to 15 percent, and then you reduce the emissions on an average of 50 percent clear across the board, that's huge. So what should we as shareholders anticipate in the next couple of quarters? Uh, sales. I mean, sales are the big thing, and that's what everybody's been waiting for. And we are now, we've now turned the corner. We've perfected the product. It's patented. We've now proven it worldwide. We've had it tested through TV in Germany, through iCat in India, through uh, Pit Group here in Canada. We've gone to great extremes to have our product, have our product proven without a shadow of doubt. And now, now it's sales. It really is. Well, speaking of sales and stock performance and management coming together, please join us more regularly, Jim. We'd love to have regular updates from you. Thank I look you. forward to it. Thank you.